So it seems like someone who closed the door or shut you out to spend more time with others knows they screwed something up. Someone knows they messed something up through pride, ego, not wanting to admit a truth, especially when it comes to you. So it feels like someone is hiding a truth, not speaking up, not speaking up on how they destroy something through a self-destructive mode. But it, this is someone who is also wanting to check on you. Yet this energy is too prideful. Hmm. Someone knows they screwed something up by tapping into other spaces, closing the door on you or keeping secrets. Yet this energy is still not speaking up. Someone's still not speaking up on how they destroyed something with you. They want to check on you, but this energy feels like they lost you. So, in so many ways, this energy sits in a state of pride, playing it cool, juggling options, but something is wrong, something is just not right when it comes to someone who is not living in their truth. Wow. Wow. So, for many of you, it seems you could be cautious. You're cautious when it comes to someone who is juggling things. Hmm. Because in so many ways, many of you may also feel something is wrong. So, it's coming out as an empath overload. Someone is truly missing you, but also trying to deceive you at the same time. So, there's third-party energy here. A double standard. Someone is sitting in a state of regrets due to addictions. Someone doesn't like the fact that you're standoffish or cautious when it comes to them because they may need a helping hand. This is someone who feels like they're tied to something that is dark or this energy could be in a very unhealthy relationship. I feel this third party that they're dealing with is harboring ill will. They're harboring ill will because you're being missed and this is why something isn't coming out right. This is why there's also a double standard. So it seems like someone is needing your help, but someone is also harboring ill wills. Whoever is missing you is waiting on you to make a move. Someone is waiting on you to make it work, and whoever this is harboring ill will is keeping them attached or dependent in some way. So whoever is missing you is also avoiding you. So I feel like someone could be waiting on you to make a move because they're still acting secretive. Someone also feels like you have a little evidence that they're not ready to fess up to. So they could be acting a little cold or standoffish when they're really wanting to reach out or get closer to you. Someone feels like you always make it work, but I feel this time you're doing something differently. And that's just not seeing well with someone. Someone also knows you have evidence or some type of receipts. Wow, so I feel like someone is acting cold, being a false prophet, playing games, going round and round when it comes to a situation, but they're also feeling bad about something because they screwed something up by playing with you, putting on a show, something that's definitely very tense behind the scenes. So due to something being tense behind the scenes, someone is definitely gaslighting you. This energy is gaslighting you because they're not wanting to show you that they are truly affected, even if they pushed you away or pushed you to make a choice when it comes to them. Hmm. Someone is still putting on a show, gaslighting you, even though they know they're sorry. If this energy is uncertain about thinking about you, this energy is indecisive about you telling them no. Bottom of the deck, someone wants you to be open but they feel you're closed. They feel you're guarding your heart. Mm. And they may be stuck in some type of trap. Mm. Putting on a show that just might be worthy of an Oscar. <laughs> so someone is definitely sitting in a space wishing something long-term with you would have run its course, but they feel like their luck has run out when it comes to you. Someone feels like you're just not wanting to put up with them anymore. Hmm. So they're a bit anxious about reaching out. Because they know now something was just a, a fling. Something was just not as important as they thought it was. 
So it seems like someone doesn't like the fact that you're protecting your heart. This energy wants you to be open, but this energy is worried about you telling them no. I feel this energy is sitting in a space of being indecisive and thinking about you because they know you deserve a true and authentic apology. Yet this energy is still putting on some type of facade, not wanting you to see something that you may already know. Hmm. But this energy, they're truly affected. I feel like this energy is truly affected in a way that they're wa not wanting to reveal to you. As this energy is still uncertain on who they want to be, who they should be. Even though there's a lot of evidence that may show you otherwise. I feel there's a lot of tension behind the scenes due to this energy playing games, playing games with the heart, playing games when it comes to family connections, close connections. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is truly uncertain about what they feel, especially when it comes to you and some type of false prophet hmm, who just might be gaslighting them as well. I feel someone has a, an active secret, and this is why... They stop reaching out. Hmm. Someone stopped reaching out in the hope that you would make a move. Yet now I feel this energy is in a space where they're regretting everything now. So it seems like there's a lot going on when it comes to someone who thinks about you all the time, yet this energy refuses to reach out. It almost seems like they're stuck in a space of acting cold. This is someone who has an active secret about a third party who could be playing games with them as well. This is why something is coming out as distant or unbearable. Hmm. There's a lot of tension behind the scenes and someone knows without a doubt they screw something up. When it comes to going round and round with you, being cold to you, or giving in to someone who is harboring ill will towards you or even them. As this is someone who you may know or may not know, but I feel this energy is sitting in a space where they regret playing games. Regret playing games of the heart. Wow. So, this is a dry waiting period for some reason. Not much is really happening, but I feel someone is wanting to take a risk. Someone's wanting to take action without thinking, but they're playing it cool. Pretending like they really don't care. But I feel it's bringing them to a state of sadness. Someone is not wanting to deal with the sadness, the pain, the grief. Someone seems to be zoning out, knowing they're full of regret. The other systems seeking or chasing some type of thrill has put them in a space of sadness and grief that causes them to become unfocused. Hmm. Someone just doesn't have the strength to see the whole truth. Hmm. This energy is coming out as closed-minded, trapped in a messy situation where there's a sense of crossroads where someone is pretending, playing it safe. And this is why someone is just not seeing the truth for what it is. This is someone who is trying to be like everyone else. Not thinking big enough or thinking outside of the box. This is someone who has a closed-minded energy. Even though they're full of regret, someone is still making sacrifices. There's a lot of loss because of third-party energies. Other people, places, or things. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel this is someone who just might end up communicating with you because they know that you are a generous giver. Mm. So there's a lot of anticipation when it comes to your energy, when it comes to someone who has been avoided or secretive, hiding out, pretending they need time alone, but I feel there is going to be an unplanned meeting or event that causes some type of shock, mm. disbelief, sudden news when it comes to someone who is definitely missing you. Someone feels like they're missing out. You're very standoffish. Hmm. Yeah, someone's investigating, watching from afar, asking others about you, yet not talking to you. 
This is someone who is sitting in a space of worry, fear, anxious energy. Someone feels like you are the soulmate, and this is why a third party could be upset, and this is why someone is playing it cool when they know that you are the missing link. But someone feels like it's all fun and games. Third party is definitely in cop copycat energy. There's also someone who is definitely not loyal. Someone likes to control things. So I feel like someone is wanting to dominate a situation. This is an opposing situation or someone who opposes you within opinion or just moral standards. Someone has a string of hurtful comments or even words wanting you to you to be involved in some type of argument or competition. For some of you, this is definitely a bit different. I feel there could be someone was watching you and there's also someone missing you. But this string of hurtful words is definitely coming from a third party energy. And this is why there's a sense of fear of what's coming out when it comes to a cheater or, or a copycat. Someone is watching and waiting for something to happen when it comes to a dispute. Someone is having a fight over something that is material or something that mean is meaningless. But whoever it is, this energy is somewhat dangerous and unhinged. For many of you, this energy is coming out as dangerous and unhinged. This is attached to someone who is in opposition of you or knows very little about you. But someone is pretending. Someone is pretending they're not ashamed of this third party or a situation that they have put themselves in because something has definitely become a messy situation when it comes to someone who is unsure, contemplating their next move. Wow, but this card is definitely standing out for me. Mm. So someone knows that they caused something to be more complicated than it needed to be by being sneaky and wearing a disguise. This is something that they also regret. Hmm. Playing games, not taking something serious. Being mysterious when it comes to secrets and leaving you in the dark. Now someone is contemplating things, having flashbacks when it comes to memories. Someone is wanting something to happen quickly at a snap, a snap of a finger. Hmm. So it seems someone is wanting something to happen quickly because they're ashamed of how something backfired on them and feel the haters are gonna hate. Hmm. And I definitely feel someone's haters are definitely wanting them to fail. This could be someone targeting you or someone targeting someone who is missing you, but whatever the case, this is someone who is still being reckless and single-minded when it comes to being what they shouldn't be. So for many of you, this unhinged energy is definitely going to cause some type of emergency. So for many of you, you being rejected is your protection. Because for this to take place, many of you had to keep out, keep your distance. This is why someone may need a helping hand. Hmm. And whoever this is is unhinged. Someone is. This is the energy that's wanting someone to fail. This is the energy that has a string of comments or hurtful words. Wow. Not thinking outside of the box. So for many of you, this is someone who's going to cause something to be unrepairable or beyond repair. Someone is wanting to dominate a situation. Hmm. So in so many ways, someone is praying on someone else's downfall here, yet someone else here is hoping you let them back in. As it seems, someone is definitely missing your energy, yet ashamed or embarrassed of what they put themselves in, even though they feel they may need you as a helping hand. Many of you feel like nothing is going to happen when it comes to this situation i feel you've put a lot of energy into this and someone has let you down multiple times someone needs to lay in the bed that they have made and for others you may be wanting something to happen quickly but someone is needing to play something out before they return let's get a little bit more energy here from this day wow. 
So it seems like this energy wanted to be open to new people and let their guard down. But I feel that only backfired when it comes to this third party who is unhinged because whatever energy they were sending your way is now being received. Wow. I feel something definitely had a ripple effect in some type of way. Mm -hmm. A ripple effect when it comes to someone who is contemplating their next move. Many of you have stepped into a different light. I feel you are expressive, authentic, true to self. You are finding a new perspective when it comes to balance. Wow. So, I feel like there's going to be a sign coming your way. And I feel that it's soon. I feel you have a lot of questions that cannot be answered in this reading. But I feel something is coming your way that is give, going to give you more than enough clarity and closure than you need. I feel there's new opportunities coming your way. And I also feel something is coming your way that is unexpected that may blow something, a lid off or something. But I do see momentum. I see a change in progress, abundance, mental health, wealth. But whatever it is, it's shocking for someone who is not taking something serious. I see you having a change in momentum when it comes to you standing in your power, reclaiming your power, remembering exactly who you are. Wow. I see you standing your ground. And I also see some extroverted energy here. You're not afraid to speak your truth, but I do see you overthinking your growth. You're in a space of figuring things out, discovering things. You're ambitious. You're stepping into a space where your goals are definitely into play. Hmm. But I feel when it comes to these third party energies or whoever's trying to send hate your way I feel you play to win and someone should be cautious when it comes to you because you are not only spiritually gifted but also spiritually protected in every way and things that you're about to step in are about to be uniquely crafted or I feel that it's going to be a moment of truth where well wow, it's maybe like a shot in the dark, but I feel you're going to hit the bullseye. So I feel you're questioning some things that are not going your way, but I see you hitting the bullseye when it comes to something that is going to send you through a rebirth or a death transformation. This is also going to cause someone to reach out for you. This death and transformation could be for someone else. Please take it how it resonates. But I, I feel like someone feels you're running from them, running away, hiding from them, wanting to escape. When really you're tapping into self. I feel for many of you, you are tapping into a higher self and that could be a problem. That could be a problem for someone who is wanting access to you. But I feel there is some type of reckoning while you're stepping into your awakening. There's toxic energy here. But as I said before, someone is shocked that you're not playing the game. Not realizing they have already lost. Someone feels like you're hiding. Someone is also not liking the fact that you're blocking your energy or they feel that way. Hmm. They feel like that's a problem. So there's definitely a problem when it comes to someone thinking that you feel you're better than them or your distance and silence is definitely starting to affect someone who is not really liking the fact that you just might be better off without them. I feel this energy is worried but also affected, upset. Upset at the fact that you're standing your ground within a situation and focusing on your own closure or clarity. But something is definitely a problem and something is not what it seems when it comes to a, a person, a situation, or an environment. But I feel something is changing for you, picking up momentum. Many of you are no longer bothered, no longer stressed, and I feel that is also an issue because someone is wanting to get it under you or get closer to you. Mm. But I feel you're too focused on something else. You're too focused on your own win, your own stability, 
Wow, one more card here from that stack. Someone didn't expect for you to find your way through something. <laughs> because they're toxic when it comes to love. Someone is real toxic when it comes to love. So much so that many of you didn't know what you were dealing with until it was too late. Now someone is contemplating their next move. <laughs> but too afraid to truly give you your respect. Praying something stays empty, someone should be standing there around or showing some love. Hmm. But they're shutting you out. Hmm. So for many of you, someone's hoping that something stays empty. Even though someone is wanting to wanting to reach out, wanting more, someone is unsure because of a third party. Someone's also lapping something off because they're still not reading between the lines this energy is putting on a performance of a lifetime when they should be trying to pray their way through this out of this praying for spiritual guidance help especially when it comes to karmic influences who always want more someone is playing it cool when it comes to being empty this is the energy who is putting on some type of show pretending to not be lost when this third party or false influence has them stuck in the past. This is why someone can't see the truth. They're in between worlds and can't read between the lines. This is the energy who has shut you out because they feel attacked. But this energy is putting on some type of show, a performance, and this is why they can't come out of this false persona. This is why they're stuck in the past because they're still trying to remain relevant or trying to fit in. So they block you out and go deeper down the rabbit hole. I feel this is someone who is going deeper down dark spaces because they don't see things as a danger, but they do feel attacked in some way, but they don't know who to trust, who to target. But somehow, some way, they always end up targeting or even guarding their heart from you. This is someone who still doesn't understand the hidden dangers when it comes to a karmic influence or energies who always want more. I feel this is someone who is still stuck in a fantasy and upset because they know you don't want to hear it. So they pretend that you're the problem when they are the ones who are creating scenarios that cause so much pain and damage. Someone is still stuck in some type of illusion and blind to the fact that they're playing a losing game. Staying mute, holding a grudge when they should be seeking forgiveness, especially when it comes to the chemistry of this relationship. I feel this is someone who is still sitting in a space of third parties and feeling attacked. When this energy, all they have to do is reach out to you and tell the truth or at least acknowledge their past, but this energy is stuck in a space where they're really not sure what to do. They're all in their head. So with this energy being all in their head, they're guarding their heart, but I feel they're guarding their heart from the wrong person. This energy is guarding their heart from a rare find, an earth angel. Hmm. But I feel in so many ways their nerves are about to kick in when it comes to a, a messy situation that they are that they should be guarding their heart from. This energy is in the fast lane and feeling attacked because they are not where they should be. They're just hiding in the shadows when they know they should be coming for your heart. This is someone who is open. Knowing they kept you waiting, this is someone who, in, who is blowing off steam when it comes to community ties, wanting to escape, but this energy has lost direction because they numb things when it comes to the pain. They're not seeking transformation, and this is why this, this energy is hot and cold, open, closed, open, closed, the heart chakra. Wow, 
So for many people, it just seems this energy is opened and closed because their heart chakra has yet to heal. And I feel this energy is making promises because they are needing to clear something away, making promises so they can get on the right page. But I feel like this energy is just not making clear decisions to cleanse their energy when it comes to karmic cycles this energy is dead inside or dying inside because they know you're over it mm. but I do feel there's energy here holding faith but I feel this energy is dark intentions or the dark intentions around them will cause someone to go solo this could be your energy or theirs but someone is looking past you when they should be talking to you mm. wow Overanalyzing, holding grudges, knowing that it's a losing blame because this energy is definitely blind to a fantasy, going down a dark path, especially when it comes to overthinking, not seeing the truth, even though they're dreaming of you. This is someone with a scattered mindset, and for many of you, this is someone who really doesn't know if they're coming or going. They're trying to pretend they're unfazed when truthfully this energy is sitting in a space of misery. Knowing they should have made the right choice or should have made or said the right things when they had the, the chance when you last spoke, when you last saw them. But this energy was too busy putting on a show and playing it cool. Now they're stuck with a situation they now regret. I want to get a little bit of energy here on their thoughts. I'll just third party energy here. Let's hear it. Wow. Wow. So for many of you, they feel like this third party only wants them for money. Or vice versa. Please take it how it resonates. But this is not a relationship that is based on affairs of the heart. Someone just may have made a deal with the devil. This is why someone is not sending love. Someone shut you out, trying to laugh something out when it comes to a third party. Someone feels like they trauma bonded with someone who is all about the material things of life. Because now at this point, someone is re receiving karma through a toxic relationship or a bond, an influence, someone who always wants more. Someone feels like they can't give enough. And I also feel they could be doing a lot of things just so they can fit in. Wow. Oh. But there's some health issues they need to talk about or something is causing health issues, stressing them out. <laughs> because they're struggling when it comes to love. This could also be a sense of struggle love. Please take it how it resonates. But someone is definitely going through something toxic that has a lot of bad karma because it's definitely going up in flames. I feel something is going up in flames when it comes to a situation, a third party where someone is not who they claim to be. It's a trauma bond because nothing is healthy about it. Someone was only putting on a show but got caught up in the situation or even caught up in trying to prove something when it comes to you. But someone is definitely losing when being petty or even when dealing with some type of dark alliance. Wow. Someone who they now see as a fraud, but I feel this energy won't see it until they, it's too late. Hmm. Someone won't see it when it comes to a third party. Someone won't see that they made a deal with someone who is dark and only putting on a front or a same type of illusion. Because through this illusion with this fraud, someone's very remorseful. As this is someone who will soon regret burning a bridge with you on the way out, if they haven't already. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space of isolation because they have yet to read between the lines when it comes to a third party or competition. Someone is just is wearing rose colored glasses. Wow. Isolating themselves because they know they were out for revenge. So someone knows that they were being petty with you because they are dealing with some things that they didn't expect that they were going to have to deal with. 
they thought this was going to be a make up to break up situation with you things always seem to come together but I feel it's their stubborn behavior someone wants control but now someone's going through spiritual warfare when it comes to someone's hidden agenda so someone doesn't like the fact that they're put in some type of competition, but I feel it's the same energy they tried to put you in because now this energy is desperate. But I feel it's the same old thinking that put them in this space hmm. because they got the same old results. Now they're worried about the receipts, the clout, the attention that they were seeking only caused trouble because there's delusion to some type of codependent way when it comes to a false energy. But I do feel there is some type of caution or warning hmm. because this energy is dealing with a hater for real um, this energy is coming out as a sneaky link whoever this is is sitting in a space where the spirit world is trying to warn them that someone is a hater a false energy someone who is wanting to get them caught up or even arrested whatever it is Someone is definitely preying on someone else's downfall or even hoping something goes wrong so that they are needed. Let's get some more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying this reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. <laughs> wow, someone is throwing stones while you're soul searching. Wow. So for many of you, soul searching is the key here. I feel the message is wanting you to push forward anyway, no matter the obstacles, or even no matter who throws shade. I feel invisible threads have the strongest ties, but someone is wanting to stunt your growth, but I feel you're blooming anyway. You're blooming wherever you're planted, wherever you are, I see you growing. But as I said before, soul searching is the key for you. Even though someone is not understanding your energy, I feel you're moving in silence on purpose. And for some of you, you're not just moving in silence on purpose. I feel you're allowing your silence to speak volumes for someone who clearly misunderstood you. I feel something is coming undone. Something is falling apart. I feel something is coming undone when it comes to shady behavior <laughs> things that shouldn't be taking place I feel someone is threatening someone else there's jealousy here there's someone draining someone else there's someone trying to send the evil eye drink someone else through negative energy there's also haters and gossip here but I feel the most high is blocking everything and sending blessings your way I feel there is stalking energy here someone is watching you even if you're not watching them Wow, someone is definitely irritated by your shine. Wow, because your light definitely irritates their demons. So for many of you, something is oozing when it comes to someone who is very disrespectful to the spirit world. Wow. Someone is want, who is wanting to block your blessings, but I feel you're in spiritual recovery, energetically being targeted because someone is feeling threatened by you. I feel someone is feeling threatened or offended on how you're starting to move or how you've been so far. Something was definitely unexpected. Rather you be someone rather you be the way you used to be. Wow. So they can get what they want or take control. Wow. Someone rather take than give to you. Because they're not focused, aligned when it comes to their purpose. Someone is still stuck in some type of illusion. And this is why things are not as it seems to be. Because this energy is coming out as unhealed, surface level. Still sitting in a space of ego. This is someone who is self-serving. Wanting you to be open to their issues. The things they do. Hmm. But I feel many of you are concerned at the fact that this energy comes from a space of ego and not light. Because there is ulterior motives here. So for many of you, there's hate here. 
when it comes to someone who wants to be in competition with you. This is someone who has ulterior motives, but whatever it is, it's not happening. You are spiritually protected in many ways, and I feel when it comes to the law of the universe, you're spiritually high ranking, mm -hmm. heavily protected when it comes to something that is hidden in plain sight. I feel many of you are about to find some clarity when it comes to fren frenemies or people who are hiding behind a disguise or sitting in a space of ego, pride, misery. Something is about to come to life but I feel it won't be something you have to deal with, not like they will, because they are the ones who are sitting in a space when, where they can't find a way to come out of what they're dealing with. So as I said before, you soul searching is the key in a situation where there is competition. I feel someone is wanting someone to be arrested or someone is wanting someone to fall, fall from grace. Let's get a final message here on this video. Oh, wow. So it definitely looks to me there's a lot of shady things going on. This is the second time seeing this card here. But someone is definitely playing chess. Wow. Well, trying their best to knock you off your game or cause some type of shift in your life. When in fact, in so many ways, you could be out of their league not on their level, hmm. unable to be reached. Please take it how it resonates with your message. I feel you've changed direction. You're not playing the game. And that's causing someone to be desperate. Hmm. You've changed direction when it comes to a storm. So there is a, t a storm when it comes to someone's tricks. Wow. Someone is wanting you to see something in a space where there's not a lot of truth here. Something is, isn't what it seems. Don't fall for it when it comes to cycles. So it seems like there's an emotional attachment here or there's an emotional history here. But I also see you not taking that bait. I don't see you doing it. I don't see you playing the game when it comes to someone who is wanting to tie and bind themselves to you. So I don't see you doing it when it comes to cycles. Going round and round, you know it's not the key. I see you stepping into a different space. I see you stepping into your potential. This is an upgrade when it comes to your journey. I see you stepping into a space where you're changing in many ways and I feel in so many ways everything you touch turns to gold. Whether that is finances, stability, relationships, I feel there's clear evidence of you being bigger than life in so many ways. I feel there's others depending on you, watching you. Please take it how it resonates, but whatever it is, I see you being divinely connected as well as divinely guided. Hmm. You're being connected and protected divinely, and you're going with the flow. Many of you are coming out as cosmic warriors, where many of these energies could be jealous or hmm, not being able to stand up to their energy not like you have you've been through a lot but i feel you've survived a lot as well because i see you rising in many ways you're doing the work and i feel you're about to understand the reason for your journey hmm. but i feel someone is still ice cold when it comes to an apology but i feel it ain't over yet but whatever it is the universe definitely has your back I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.